everyone, today I have a phone case review for you all. This is the Spigen Liquid Air Armor case for the iPhone 11. So this is specifically geared for the iPhone 11. It will not fit the iPhone 11 Pro. This is in the matte black color and I like it because it's really minimalistic and it's for my work phone anyway so I don't need anything flashy. This will be replacing my previous case which had a little kickstand which I thought I would like but that bump unfortunately caused it to not be able to wirelessly charge properly. So hence my second case uh, for my iPhone 11. So without further ado, let's go ahead and just take it out of the packaging so you can take a look at it, what it looks like when it's completely brand new. And then actually, I had already bought this two months ago, so as the day that I am uploading this video, I have already used it for two months. So you can also see the wear and tear that it has accumulated after these two months to see if it's worth your money or not. So opening it up, it's really simple. It's very minimal packaging. There's even a tab to help you open up uh, the opening flap. And then the case itself is just encased in plastic. This case is made out of TPU, a very common choice for phone cases. Um, it makes it a very inexpensive yet very uh, flexible material that you can customize really easily. Some quick highlights about this case. Um, the interior is designed so that there are some air pockets in there um, to help absorb any impact. That's why it's called the liquid air armor. But of course, this isn't really a rugged case like the Autobox Defender, for example, but for casual accidental drops from when I had dropped it at um, waist height from my pocket or a table, it was able to withstand those. And you can see there's also some textures along the side of the case for better gripping. The buttons are also very well laid out with appropriate cutouts for the camera, the ports, as well as the mute switch. On the back, you can see the triangular texture design, which will help repel fingerprints and keep it that matte black look. So slipping it onto my newly wiped down iPhone 11, you can see that the cutouts line up very exactly. The camera square is right there, protected, as well as all the other cutouts. And there's also a very tiny lip around the front so that it won't scratch your screen when you lay your phone on the face. But it also doesn't take up so much of the front face that it would cover up or prevent you from putting down a screen protector. You see it's perfectly compatible with my glass screen protector here. So this is what the case looks like on my phone when it's completely brand new. So here's what it looks like now two months later. You can kind of tell that it absorbed a little bit of oil from my fingertips. Uh, but otherwise, it still looks like it's in really, really great shape. There's no cracks, scratches to be seen. I would say it held up much better than the glass part of the camera bump. Um, you can see it picked up quite a few scratches after the two months. So I give it a thumbs up in terms of its durability and wear and tear. But as with any case, of course, with anything with a cutout, it's going to eventually get dust and debris uh, crammed into it. So when I take off the case, you do see that a little bit of dust has accumulated on the back of the phone. Nothing too major though, nothing that can't be just wiped away with a microfiber cloth. One subtle design element that I think they did well is the camera cutout. So you can see that the camera bump is normally protruding, but with this case, it definitely hides that. In addition, it has this black glossy ring around it to help prevent any glare from the flash from the camera. And of course, with my given experience of my past case, I want to make sure it worked well with wireless charging. And with no metal pieces and a flat back, there was no issue whatsoever. And I also wanted to make sure that the port cutout was also big enough to house some thicker charging cables like this one that I have here. Non-stock Apple, but it's also able to accommodate that with no problem. So all in all, I really like this slim minimalistic case. You can't really even tell that it's a Smeagan case without this tiny little logo etched onto the side. But otherwise, I really love the fact that all the cutouts are appropriately sized, not too big, not too small. Love the texture all around and that it repels fingerprints to keep it looking new longer. And best of all, it's appropriately priced. So if you're in the market for a new case, check out the Spigen Liquid Air Armor.